So you want to learn how to design a review card in Figma. You want to take elements such as the profile pic, the item being reviewed, and the actual review and make it look nice and sleek like this. Today, I'll walk you through this exact process. Let's dive right in. Alrighty, so we're here in our Figma uh, file. Uh, I named it review card. I also have my pages, so this is where we're going to be designing. And then icons too. I use uh, new icons, amazing icon pack that I found on the Figma community that you could uh, download for free. So um, I'll be using these, so you can go ahead and check it out. And then, uh, yeah, let's get back in here. So I already have my uh, profile picture here. I do use this plugin called Avatars to uh, auto-generate some uh, avatars for me. And in this case, I really like this one. So let's go ahead and keep building the card. So first, we need a name. So really. Okay. And we're using Gilroy font, extra bold for this one at 16 uh, 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 size of font. Okay. Okay, cool. So really, now we gotta get the stars in here. Since I do have the icons in this uh, page right here, uh, Figma realizes that they're all components. So I could simply look up for star. And we're gonna need a filled in one, and then we're gonna need the unfilled one. So this is a four star review. Cool. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and shrink these. Right now they're 24 by 24. We're gonna go ahead and connect these constraint uh, proportions and Put them down to 16. Cool. Now, there's two ways to do this. We could simply auto layout them now. So hover over them, auto layout, make sure they're centered here. And then we're going to go with the four spacing. And then from here, obviously, you're like, OK, it's two stars. But the beautiful thing about auto layout is that now if I copy and paste in here, it auto layouts however I want it, however I have it. So this is going, this whole frame is horizontally uh, auto layout. So it's horizontal direction at four. So it just auto fills that. Or, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, ungroup and just, I'm gonna delete everything and pretend we just dragged in our filled and unfilled one. I'm just gonna copy and paste. Start. It's going two, three, four, five. And then since they're all in scattered places, I could simply hover over them. Shift A, auto layout, horizontal. We want four, spacing, and then center. Perfect. And then uh, make sure I select the whole frame and everything that's black, I'm gonna want it to turn to purple. Perfect. There we go. So, so far we have our profile picture, the name, and then the stars. Still nothing, um, put together quite yet but let's go ahead and put this section together so we're going to want to do two auto layouts here first we're going to do the auto layout of the name with the uh, stars so select both of those or hover over both and then we're going to do shift a and we want this to be vertical aligned and then let's try a uh, spacing of 16. actually a little closer we want eight perfect that looks better and then we want this one to stay right here, top left. Perfect. Now we got the name and the stars. Now we want to auto layout with the profile picture. So hover over those. Shift A. And then we want this one to be horizontal uh, layout, auto layout. And let's try a spacing of 16. Perfect. And then we want this to be actually, instead of top left, I want this whole, this section to be centered this way. So there we go. We have our, we call this frame profile rating. Cool. So we have our profile and rating uh, auto layout here. Now we need the date. Since I will be using the same font as I did for the name, uh, I like to just go in there and copy and paste. It's going to paste in this auto layout, but don't worry. Just drag it out outside the frame until you see, yeah, until you see them go back into this normal auto layout. And then we use the date February 8th of 2021. So do Feb 8th, 2021. Awesome. 
Now, since in our review card, the date's going to be aligned with our profile and rating uh, up top. So we could auto layout these. So I'm going to hover over both. Shift A, auto layout. Perfect. And then for this one, we're going to go ahead. So this is something I haven't introduced yet, but I want them top left. And then instead of packed, we're going to go with space between. What this does is if I decide to change this frame size, it just makes sure that it sticks. So there's always going to be space between this frame and this frame. So no matter how big the, the main frame is, the parent frame, which is frame three that we need to rename, how big this is, there's always going to be space between. So that's what it means. So remember, space between. Cool. So now we got our, we'll call this profile. Cool. Awesome. We're moving along. Now, since this is a resource or a product that was bought, let's go ahead and name that product. So it's going to be a digital product. I'm going to go ahead and look for a box. It's just a resource icon. Excuse for the little lag. It's nice to lag. Uh, we're going to use this one. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and do 16. Again, that's too big. 16. And then we're going to go ahead and get our text and call this. This is a digital product, so it's called my SQL um, what was it? practice data set. Okay, practice data set. Perfect. And this is at 16. And let's, let's see. This is at 16 too. Okay. Let's try this one. Let's do 14 on this one. Perfect. Now we want the icon and the, the title of the product to be auto laid out together. Okay, so hover, shift A, and we want this to be centered this way in the middle. And then the spacing, let's try 16. Try A a little closer. Okay, cool. So this frame is now auto layout. Let's go back to our layers and rename it. This is going to be product. All right, so, so far we have the profile and date. The profile is consisted of aligning the the image, the profile image with the name and the rating, and then we combine that with the date, right? With what's called the space between. So no matter how big this frame gets, these there's always gonna be space between these two frames. And then we have now auto layout the product. And now we're gonna go ahead and put our review, the main review. And I have the actual review here since it's a lot of text. I'm going to go ahead and just copy and then paste it right here. So there we go. So as you can tell, it just spreads all the way. So I'm going to zoom out and just bring this in over here because we don't want it that that much. Okay. Let's see. Maybe we could have it. All right. That's cool. Okay. So this is our review here. And we want to auto layout the name with the review itself. So we're just gonna get the product name, hover over that and the actual review, shift A. We want this to be aligned to the top left, which is which it is already. And let's try a 16 and see. Perfect, I like that spacing. So now we have our review and we have our product name and the review. So this right here, we're just gonna call this full review. This is just on top of my head. You could name it whatever you want. So cool. It's coming along, guys. And then one more thing that I like to add on a review card that I like to see on, on platforms is somewhere that I could like or like upvote this, this review, right? Maybe I don't want to write one myself, but I actually just really like this review and I just want to second that myself. So we're going to use um, thumbs up. Okay. Uh, let's see. Thumbs in here. Uh, or let's try like so as you can tell remember how i i uh, just a quick reminder i dragged in those icons those uh those three icons that i told you that i like to use since they're all components i could simply just go to this assets assets tab and search for whatever icon i want in that package so i don't have to go to my icons and then search here i could just be in my design page and then search assets cool I'll drag this in over here same thing, uh, it's at 24 by 24. Hit this, make sure it does it the same way. So 16, cool. 
And then we're going to add, I suppose this has 25 likes. Cool. And then I'm going to go ahead and change this to just light. Cool. And then I just want to auto lay out these, the thumbs up and the, the count. So then I'm going to go ahead and hover, auto layout, shift A. I want these to be aligned in the middle. I want these to try 16, try eight, maybe a little closer. Yep, I like that. Cool. And we'll call this frame three is going to be lights. Okay. And then um, I don't want them to be the same distance between the title and the actual um, review, which is at 16, the spacing. I want them to be, I want the likes to be a little bit separated. <clears throat> but now we could go ahead and combine everything. So we have this layer, which is our profile and date. We have the full review and then the likes. Now we could auto lay out everything and create a beautiful card. So I'm gonna go ahead and select everything. I'm gonna do a shift A, and then I'm gonna do make sure it's vertical aligned. And let's try a 32 spacing. Oh, I like that. It's really nice. Cool. So right now you can't see it, but see how it's beautifully aligned. We're going to go ahead and create that card effect. So I'm going to use the whole frame. So this is a whole frame. We've put everything that we auto laid out in this whole parent frame. We call it review card. Now we're going to do some touching up. First of all, let's add a fill. By uh, Figma automatically fills it in with white, which is perfect, the color we're going to be using. Now you might be looking like, ah, oh, this looks like a card, but it doesn't look good. So go ahead and go over there, hover over review card, and then you see this little box right here? We're going to go ahead go ahead and add a 24 uh, pixel padding. There we go. A beautiful card now. Then we're going to go ahead with some roundness. Let's try 16. Yeah, there we go. We have a card. Now, now we just want to do some minor technical fixing. So, for example, I feel like this could be pushed out a little bit more. So we're going to go ahead and double click on this, the review, the full review. And instead of hug contents, we're going to do fill container. So it pushes everything else to the side. And then double click on the actual review. And see, fill container. Might not change. There we go. See how that changed? Everything fills the container properly. And everything stays at that 24 pixel separation we did for the whole review card, as we said over here. So uh, yeah, there you have it, a beautiful review card. To recap, we did the profile, we did the auto layout of the name and the stars, and then we auto laid out, laid, auto laid out, excuse me, that to the profile image, and then we auto lay out that whole frame with a date to create what's the profile and date up here. We auto laid out the icon with the product name, and then we combine that with the actual review. And then we did our likes and like count. And then we put it all together to do this beautiful uh, review card at 32 spacing vertically. And then we added 24 pixels of padding with 16 uh, uh, corner radius. So there you guys have it. A beautiful review card using Figma's auto layout, guys. I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to like, comment, uh, and subscribe. Uh, it doesn't take much, but I also would love to see what you guys, what kind of tutorials you guys would like to see. Uh, thank you for coming on this journey with me. Thank you for allowing me to share this with you. And let's keep going forward, guys. Thank you.